In this video, we're going to discuss powers and roots of complex numbers using Dumas theorem. And so, to obtain the nth power of a complex number, we take the nth power of the modulus, and remember that modulus uh, is just the radius, so mod z equals the radius, which you could think of as Pythagoras theorem, x squared plus y squared. There's a lot of ways, but whenever you see modulus, we're talking about the radius. So we take the nth power of the radius and multiply the angle by n. And in the case of r equals 1, which is a special case of particular interest, then this equation becomes e to the i theta to the n, and represents in polar as well, we could have cosine theta plus i sine theta to the n. And in this case, the n would come inside, in front of both of the, th of the theta, so we'd get cos n theta plus i sine n theta. And then another example is when you have z to the 1 divided by n, so say a square root or a cubed root, <coughs> then you would follow this similar process, and you would multiply it by both these terms, get r to the 1 over n, and e to the i theta divided by n. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is all equal to the nth root of r, multiplied in polar form by so it's the exact same thing, you just brought it inside, except in this case we have 1 over n, so it's going to be theta divided by n. Okay, so let's run through a few quick examples. So in the first example, we have uh, this term here, we have 1 plus i, all to the 8th power. <coughs> and so z is 1 plus i, so what we've got is z to the 8th power, so the first thing you do working in this example is you always sketch out your graph. And remember that the x-axis is the real axis and the y-axis is the imaginary. So graphs in complex numbers, graphs are your friend. So I'll try to make this a little bit bigger here. So we have z is 1 plus i, which is the same as the points 1, 1 in the complex graph. And so when we get that point, so 1 and 1, it'll be up here. And if you remember the unit circle now, so, so we get a lot of information from the graph. You always want to graph it. So it's a, <laughs> it's a pretty funny circle. But uh, you start at 0, and then at this point you've got pi over 4 radians up here, hopefully you remember pi over 2, and you just keep going around, down here is pi, down here is 3 pi over 2, and eventually we get back to 2 pi. So in this case we have the point 1, 1, and we know this will make a 45 degree angle, and 45 degree angle is the same in radians as pi divided by 4. So, knowing that z is 1 plus i, we can get the radius as well, and we can get the angle. So the radius of this is going to be, or the modulus, is going to be x squared plus y squared, which is just 1 squared plus 1 squared, or the square root, oh, sorry, doing it off the video here. So modulus x squared plus y squared, 1 squared plus 1 squared, or the square root of 2, is our modulus, or radius. <coughs> okay, so now we can start working with these equations. So we have uh, z to the, so z in here, uh, to the eighth. So we can represent that as our radius, r, times e to the i theta, and remember that theta is just, because it's a 45 degree angle, is pi divided by 4, so i theta is pi over 4, then all of that is multiplied but to the 8th power here, and so if we bring that 8th power inside, we're going to be left with 2 pi, and if we have the square root of 2 to the 8th power, we're going to be left with 16. 
And so now, working with the graph again, you know that if you have 2 pi, so you go all the way around the circle, and back to 2 pi, well that is the same as giving you the point 1 plus uh, i times 0, or just 1. So it's got a radius of 1. And so, we know that e to the 2 pi i is 1, so it is 16 times 1, so this whole thing finally gets simplified down to 16. Okay, so now let's do uh, another quick example, and we're going to work with uh, roots here, so 1 over n, and in this example we have the fourth root of 1, and so we can represent this as 1 to the 1 over n, or 1 to the 1 over 4. And working with this equation now, we have our radius, which is 1, times e to the 2 pi i, divided by 4. And in this case, um, we're given z, so z is the same as x plus i y. So really what this is saying is our point 1 plus 0 i just going to have a radius of 1. So it's just going to be go around 2 pi. We've got this point 1 0 which has a radius of 1. Okay, so we have our radius of 1 and this is going to be to the 1 over n which is the 1 fourth but uh, 1 to the anything is still 1, so you don't even need to put that in there. And then we're going to have e to the 2 pi i divided by n, and in this case, uh, theta, if you remember, you go around the circle once, you get 2 pi, so that's our, our so because our point is 1, 0, we know that theta is equal to 2 pi, because you go around the circle once to get to that point, so, um, we now know that if you have the fourth root here, you're going to have four answers. So the four roots of 1 with modulus equals to 1 is going to be 0, uh, 2 pi divided by 4, 4 pi divided by 4, and 8 pi divided by 4. And this is going to come out to 0, pi divided by 2, pi and 3 pi over 2. <clears throat> and so the four uh, roots of are going to be e to the 0, e to the i theta over 2, e to the i, or i pi over 2, e to the i pi, and e to the 3 i pi divided by 2. And if you now plot these points, well, 0 radians is just 1. Uh, pi over 2, so 1 half pi at 90 degrees is just going to be at i, so the point 0, 1, or 0, i. And then at pi, we're going to go all the way around the circle and get to the point um, negative 1, 0. So up here, we're at the point 1, 0. Here at the point um, 1, 0, actually, sorry, up here we're at the point 0 on the x-axis, but 1 on the imaginary axis. Down here will be at 0 on the x-axis, but negative 1. So it's the same as x plus i, y, so 0 plus i. So we have negative i down here. Okay. And that is basically it. Uh, hopefully this all makes sense. So the real heart of the matter is dealing with these equations here and knowing how to move between them. And then the other thing you really should know is uh, know how to get your angle. Well, first, you always want to graph it. The graph is your friend. But then always know how to get your angle in radians from the unit circle. Because so often you're going to graph it and the graph's going to give you your radius plus your angle theta. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Um, I know this is a little tricky, but uh, just the more 
there's no trick to it. You just need to practice, and the more you practice, the, the better you get at these. Okay, thank you, and have an excellent day.